Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Just a little quick update on the Giant Ravelli build. Uh, we finished the spiny dorsal fin and the soft dorsal fin. Is it dorsal fins? Yes, dorsal fin. The one on the back, uh, which is the adipose we'll, we'll, that will be sitting something like this. This one actually in the gi Giant Ravelli falls back into the body, but we're going to keep it upright. Um, I'm going to run through this one, fast track it. Uh, I think you all fed up with the um, fins. I'm... Um, Fed up with it. I want to carry on with the fish now. So let's get let's get right through it. Okay. So first thing, we just uh, once again stuck two pieces of masonite together, cutting them out on the little scroll saw. Nothing major. Nothing funny. Uh, I did two fins at the same time. I'm really fed up with these fins now. Uh, there's still some left but we'll get to them when the time comes then same old same old just sticking a piece of wax paper on the shop table just to prevent anything from sticking to it a uh, little bit of shoe polish just to make sure nothing sticks to the wax paper and then shoe polish on the mold itself as well once we've got that uh, polished up part in the pan we'll take some uh, baking spray and use that just as a final sort of precaution and always works I've never had something stick going through this route so if you want to try it uh, it works then we're just clamping the mold down onto the table making sure that there's no gaps that the polyester resin would flow out of uh, once again using my little welding V blocks as as and when required the rest is G clamp or oh, F clamps, vice grips, etc. Uh, then we're mixing some polyester resin. This time I made way too much and I added way too much catalyst. This thing got so hot it almost uh, caught fire. So please check that. Um, I really learned something there. Uh, just using my little pneumatic drill to mix it up. Then I poured it in uh, and let it dry for, well, not that long, but. I left it overnight. Um, there you can see, there we done. Came out of the mold quick and easy. Now they're just marking the thick portions of the fin. Once again, always time to do it right the second time. So there we're doing, redoing everything. And then I'm just marking the center line of the fin so that we've got something to work towards. Here I'm, I've got a new little ball in, but in the uh, little pneumatic Dremel tool. Uh, worked wonders for the first probably half an hour, and after that, you get what you pay for. It was dirt cheap, so that didn't work out as, as, as planned. I stretched the life out of this one far beyond what I paid for it, so it's still, still good, all good. Uh, you sort of get into a zone where you, you don't really realize time passes when doing stuff like this and it just carries on and on and on and on and on decent concentration um, but like I say it gets very monotonous and I think that's why I'm over grinding fins at this stage by the way this is probably sped up 15 or 20 times Have you let the little ball in uh, cutter already started giving me shit, but I, like I said, I stretched the life out of it. Um, over here, it really couldn't go anymore. And then I swapped around to my big uh, pneumatic die grinder, my go-to, which has uh, never let me down in terms of grinding uh, fins. Uh, I use cheap tungsten carbide bits on here. It's cheap Chinese carbide bits but it seems that even the Chinese can't dash up carbide so this works like a charm stays um, sharp forever and uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here it just it just carries on and on and on and on you can see some chat is still on the fin where I didn't prop clamp it to the table properly And the 
closer you get to where I'm pressing it against the table, the better it becomes. Now here I'm just thinning out the edge of the fin uh, so that you don't have a thick edge right, well, having it the same thickness right up onto the edge. And then you go back and you do the whole thing from start again, grind it back again, and sometimes a third and a fourth time. Uh, I think here I'm actually done. So just using a little sanding sponge block thing to start sanding it off. Then it's a shitload of sanding from there up to the point we can actually say this is enough. Okay, after a boatload of sanding we actually got through it. This is the do spiny dorsal fin. Uh, okay, it didn't come out too bad. I think this is ready to start painting. This is the adipose fin. Uh, I've still got a little bit of sanding to do. But I think this will work as well. Maybe when we've got primer on it will work. I actually dropped this off the table and it broke in all. Well, the f tail pin piece broke off. I don't know if you can see the where I had to cast in a new section along that line there. Uh, then wasn't in the mood to redo the whole fun. So, that is it. Gentlemen, look out for the next uh, episode. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell if you don't want to miss the next build, where we will be starting with the actual body of the giant Trevelli. Uh Thanks for watching. As always, stay safe.